Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Monday, July 4th, 2011, and this is a Zero News update from the garage on the Mueller Motor Replication Project. Pretty much everything is done now. Uh, last night I was up until 2 a.m. working on uh, the dual coil driver circuit board. Um, right here is a detailed photo of the circuit board showing the layout of the heat sinks and how it's attached to the stator plates. I just have it hot glued in place, nothing, nothing fancy, but uh, I did neaten up all the wiring. Um, this next photo is a close-up of the side A of the driver, showing the discrete components on the, on the driver. And uh, this last photo that I'm about to show you is a close-up of the N-channel MOSFETs on the heatsink showing the flexible thermal, thermally coupling uh, insulator, electrical insulator, because both drains or both, both of the tabs cannot be bolted directly to the heatsink, otherwise they would short out. So one of the two MOSFETs needs to be insulated from the heatsink, the other one does not. I elected to uh, insulate the end channel MOSFETs, which are the inside most MOSFETs, because uh, they had the right size hole for the bushings that I had to uh, assemble it with. So it was completely arbitrary, but that's, that's how it ended up working out. Uh, the, here is a quick shot of the schematic diagram. Uh, this is current as of this morning. And uh, I, I uh, actually I ended up building this thing without even breadboarding it first, and found there was one small design flaw. I had to add R6 to the schematic diagram to make the to make the circuit work properly. But other than that, everything worked pretty much first time. Next shot is a shot of the actual proto board uh, diagram that I made to show all of the circuit traces underneath the board. This view is from the top and all of the parts have been designated on the on the board for um, assembly. The uh, Hall Effect devices were aligned for maximum efficiency one at a time and then both of them were uh, connected and uh, tested together afterward. The, uh, the motor itself spins at about 2600 RPM with 600 milliamps being drawn at 14.2 volts um, with one set of coils driven, each one. And then with the two of them combined, I get much more rapid acceleration from a cold start and uh, a, a speed of 2995 RPM at 700 milliamps of current being drawn when, when the rotor is up to speed. Um, I'm just going to do a, a quick test for you right now and uh, you know to show you to show you how it runs and uh, then I need to get some work done on the house and help Mrs. Z with training painting the trim. All right so here's the motor it is uh, ready to run this is the analog DC ammeter that I've checked the calibration on and it is it is quite accurate and it is uh, has enough resolution for what I'm doing here and I'll be showing you the waveform of the uh, of one set of coils on the scope right there. So let me go ahead and connect connect my 12 volts. And it starts up by itself without any assistance. There's the oscilloscope trace. I'm going to put the, DC, the input to DC ground so that you can see DC ground is at the center of the scope trace. And now I'll disconnect power and you'll see where the, where the uh, resulting waveform originates. This is incidentally is 10 volts per division. So there's what the waveform looks like 
without being driven. And that's with the driving current applied. There's my RPM, 29.85 right now. I know I stated 29.95, but uh, eh, plus or minus. Very consistent. And you also see I'm missing that one last set of pickup coils. There's the Hall Effect sensor just uh, on a block of uh, acrylic. And one more time, shot of the driver circuit, which incidentally, heat sinks are stone cold. Isn't that a nice hum? Of course, all of the work that I've done on the project so far will be published right here. Okay, I know I moved it to the right side of the screen. Don't want to confuse anybody, but this is my web address right here. Uh, and all of the work that I'm doing will be published there, including the schematics board layout and uh, photographs of, of the assembly. I hope everyone's enjoying the build. Please tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I uh, hope everyone has a happy and safe July 4th. Peace, everyone.